So today we're going to continue our discussion on terminating and repeating decimals. I apologize in advance for having to go so quickly, but YouTube has us on a 15 minute limit. So I'm going to go through quickly, but you can always start and stop the video as you need. So the first part we're going to talk about is uh, Juan sells banana bread by weight. He gets a one pound loaf of bread and he cuts it into six equal slices. He wants to complete the table showing the total weight of the various number of slices and what decimals uh, will he write in the table. This is on page 40 in your instruction book. All right, uh, so one pound cut into six equal slices means each of these number of slices is going to weigh one sixth of a pound. So this would be two sixths, this would be three sixths, this would be four sixths, this would be five sixths, and this is of course six sixths, which is one pound even. Okay, so we're going to take these decimals and transform them into uh, decimals. We're going to take these fractions and transform them into decimals. So clear that writing out, raise this up. Now, the division is already done, so I'm going to leave that there and we'll just follow up with that. Uh, the first thing we need to do is estimate about where 1 6 would be. Well, 1 8, 1 8 is 0.125. So 0.125 and 1 fifth is 0.2. 1 fifth is 0.2. So somewhere between these two is 1 sixth. And we can find that by dividing the numerator by the denominator, which is 1 divided by 6. When you do that, the first time we, we, buy, we put the decimal point above the other one and we get uh, 10 divided by 6. Well, it goes one time, and you have 6 here with a remainder of 4 right here, a remainder of 4. Then we bring down 0, and we, uh, we have 40, and we multiply 6 times 6, we get 36. Subtract that from 40, again, we get a remainder of 4. Do that again, and we bring down a 0, and multiply by 6, we get 36 subtract that and again we get a remainder of four and then the last time we do it six times six is uh 40 bring that down we get a remainder of four again so if we brought that down we'd be here and to do 36 again with a remainder of four and then six again bring down another zero and we get 36 with a remainder of four again so notice we keep getting that same remainder of four. And that's important to remember because every time you see where you constantly get the same, the same remainder, you, you know you're gonna have a repeating decimal. In this case, it becomes 0.1666 repeating. On this chart, they're writing it with an ellipsis, which means there's more after this. The three dots is called an ellipsis. It means there's more to come, there's, there's more dots. So when we go with 2, 6, we can divide, we can come over here and divide 2 by 6 and do all that math again, or we can simply multiply 0.166 times 2. Now remember, this 6 goes on forever and ever, so it's going to end up being 0.333. And that makes sense because 2, 6 is equivalent to 1 third, and we know that 1 third is 0.333. Then we have 3 6, which will translate to 1 half, which will be 0.5. 4 6 will be 0.6666. 6 And keep going. 5 6 will be 0.833. And it's going to keep on going. And then finally, 6 6 is equal to 1. I want you to notice that we extended this twice because they're going to ask us to do that on the next page. So when we extended it twice, what happened was we kept getting the same remainder of four. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next page. Uh, make sure you have this written down and we can, uh, can hold the tape long enough for you to write it down if you need to. On the next page, they're asking us to connect it and we continued it out. Uh, we, did it, we already did it, continue it out for two more decimal points, and we ended up seeing that we kept, getting, uh, we kept getting 40, 
and subtracting 36 from it. So we kept getting a remainder of 4, a uh, remainder of 4, of 4, which gave and brought down 0, which gave us 40 minus 36. And we got that at every step of the way, right? So uh, whenever we went out two more decimal places, we continued to get that same pattern. Because of that, always having that remainder of 4 and then bringing down to 0 and dividing by uh, and multiplying by 6 and 36, you do it again. That's why 1 6 is called repeating decimal because we get 0.1666 and then it just keeps repeating after that. Notice here I wrote a bar over the top of the 6 because the ellipses, when we did just the three dots with the ellipses, that said there's more to come after the 6, but it didn't specify what was coming. The bar over the top means that the next number is going to be another 6, and the one after that is going to be another 6. So the bar notation is actually more accurate than using the ellipses because the ellipses isn't specific about what's coming next, it just means there's more to come. So if we did already complete the chart and model it, and we looked at, we had 2, 6, and 4, 6. Well, we noticed on that chart that we had 2, 6, and then, a half, and then we had 4, 6. This was 0.33. 2 is half of 4, so that means 4 is 2 times 2. So if I multiply this times 2, I'm going to end up with 0.666, repeating. So because they were double, we could just multiply by 2, save a lot of time. So the relationship was 4 is twice 2. So the decimal, or uh, 4, 6, is twice as large. as the decimal for two six, okay? So make sure you get that written down uh, and we can pause the video so you can copy it if you need to. Our next problem is uh, to look at one ninth as a decimal and take it out to three places. So if I do that, uh, I again divide the, the denominator, divide, it, di divide the numerator by the denominator, all right? Nine doesn't go into one, but it will go into ten one time, and that's nine. Bring down the one, bring down the zero, do it again, it goes one time, and there's nine. Bring down the one, bring down another zero, do it again, that's nine, and we get a one. Notice once again, I have the same remainder over and over and over. So it tells me that one ninth is a repeating decimal. So my work shows that I have 0.111 repeating. Now, the next problem says, how can we use the fact that one third is equal to three ninths to write the decimal for one third? Well, we know that three ninths is, one third is actually, uh, three ninths, and it's three times as large as one ninth. And we know that one ninth is 0.11, so we simply multiply everything by three, we get 0.333 repeating, okay? All we have to do is multiply, multiply everything by three, right? Because three times three is equal to nine, and one times three is equal to three. So if that's true, then I can also just multiply the decimal by three off and get the uh, correct decimal answer for that. Again, you can stop the video if you need to, to discuss that. The last thing we're gonna look at is what did we learn to solve these problems? We're gonna solve these problems. We're gonna stop the video uh, so you can try to solve these on your own and then we will come back and uh, you can check your answer. So it says predict the decimal for four ninths. Divide to check your prediction, describe the results. Well, four ninths is, is four times as much as one ninth, so 0.111 repeating 
times 4 is going to be equal to 0.444 repeating. And we can check that by coming over here and saying 4 divided by 9, with the 0 there, we get, uh, for the point there, we get 4 is 36. We want to make it 4, bring down another 0. Uh, 4 again is 36 again. Uh, with a remainder of 4, bring down another 0. 4 times 9 is 36 again. With another remainder of 4. Again, 1, 2, 3 remainders of 4. I can safely say that 0.444 repeat is correct. The next one says, how can we find the decimal for 12 ninths? Well, we would do the same thing. We would do the same thing. We would divide 12 by 9. Now, notice here that 12 is actually bigger than 9, so I'm going to have a whole number. So I have a 1 here, and that's 9, and then that leaves me a 3. I bring down a 0, and now 9 times 3 is 27. So I put a 3 there, I get 27, and I get a remainder of 3. I uh, bring down another 0, right? I multiply by 3 again, I get 27 again, bring down another 3. Another 0, multiply by 3, I get 27, and I bring get 3 again. So again, I have the same remainder every time. So this is 1.33, 1.33. So the way I can do that is either to divide 12 by 9 or multiply 0.111 repeating times 12. Now be careful when you do this because remember this one goes out forever and ever and ever. So you, you, you need to probably go out about five spaces before you multiply. I would do the 0.11111. And then try to do that and make sure, to make sure I got the right decimal point when I was finished. If there are no questions, I will see you tomorrow and we can go over the homework. Your homework for tonight is page 43 and 44. Uh, hopefully you'll have time in class to complete some of that.